I'm going to show you how we can apply multiple classes to the widget so that maybe we want to apply a different style background color or a font size because maybe we have buttons for different purposes. Let's say this top button here was for services. So wherever we paste a button, I just want to pop in like a services class name, but I also want to have a particular font size as well. And I want to do something completely different, maybe for this button, which is going to be for a contact button. Now, it might be that we're going to use the same color, but different font sizes or different colors and the same font size or different colors and different fonts. Let me show you how we can apply multiple classes. It's really simple and easy and it's kind of always been there, but it's something we do overlook quite a lot. So let me show you. I'm going to go to site settings and I'm going to go to custom CSS and we're going to drop in a bit of CSS like this. So this is saying the elemental button. So that's the class name for the button because we haven't added one. That's just the standard class name that elemental give for the button. The background color for all of them is going to be e global color primary. So whatever is our primary color that is going to come through. If I was to go and change that to be accent, the accent color would come through. You know, when you go to global colors and you go and add in your colors In that we'll just leave it as accent for now. Then I've added in some more CSS to say that the elemental button, the font size is now going to be 25 pixel. I would be using REM and clamp calculation formulas, but just so that you understand it, I'm just putting in pixel because for some of you, it might make more sense. So this is all good and well, but it's applying it now to all of the buttons. Now you are going to look at this and go, well, I would have just gone to the style tab. If you're trying to set up like a framework, adding in your own custom CSS can massively help you out. Or you may want to go and use another third party tool. Now I'm going to duplicate this, stick it below, and I'm going to refine the values with 16 and secondary. Now, because we've already got it above and then I'm following it on again, you have like a hierarchy starts to kick in. Well, this is what it was before. And then you got some further code and this isn't really the greatest way to write it. But I want this one to apply for certain classes and this one to apply for different. Stay with me on this. Before the elemental button now, I'm going to type in dot services and I'm going to add that to the font size. And then I'm going to do dot contact and I'm going to add that here. Now, I recommend you don't just do it like this. I would say that you go and make the class names a little bit more easy to understand. And there are other schools of thought, BEM, etc. I'm just going to go with services, BG color, and I'm going to add it to the other bit of CSS where we copied it over, but we had a different color kicking in. And for where we've got the font, I'm going to say services underscore font size, and we'll do it on the other one as well. I hope this is making sense. You can see it on the screen. Okay. Now I'm back into the edit screen. So I'm not looking at my site settings. Now I'm going to go to this first button. So let's say this was the one that was going to take you to the services, you know, click here to see more or where, or maybe you're going to paste this button in multiple locations on your website. I go to the advanced tab and down here where we have the class name, I'm going to do this. Watch services underscore BG color. And that has now kicked in. But I also want to bring through the services font size. Now, by I only did the size. You could have added into there the weighting, uh, the transformation in terms of uppercase, uh, the line height and all of that. I've just kept it simple. But when you, I was doing the one for the font size, you could have added more in. Then I'm going to also type in, and there's a space, by the way, I'm probably rushing this, but there is a space there. There's no comma. There's no pipe, there's no hyphen hyphen or anything going on there. I've just added in a space and then I'm going to type in services and font size. Can you see what's happened? It's now applying that particular class. So we've got services BG color and services font size. Let's go and take this, go to the second one, go to the advanced tab, go to the class name. And I'm going to change this to now say contact BG color but it's still got a different size applied. I've added in a space and I'm now going to paste in services font size. That's the services font size. So I'm adding in different classes into it. Or if I didn't want to use the services font size, because maybe I've gone and decided on a standard one that's just called font size, I'm going to change this now to be contact. And then it goes to the contact one. So I don't know if this is making sense. I went and gave you different styles there. So let's go and refine it. Let's go back to custom CSS and I'm now going to get rid of that there and I'm just going to have font size like this. In fact, let's pop a dot in. So I've got two different classes now 
or CSS codes for my background colors, whether your services or contact. And then I've got one for font size and it could be H1, H2 and stuff like that. So now rather than me defining it with services underscore font size and contact underscore font size, when I now go back to my buttons, I've got contact BG color because I want it to apply that for this particular button space of font size. And over here for this one, I've now got services BG color space font size. So if I was to have say like five different classes where I've got different styles applied, I can just go and type space and then pop up pop, 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 put that class name in, space, another class name, space, another class name. So I can start to apply multiple classes. What we sometimes do is we have one class and we try and cram everything in. And then we go, oh, for a different button, I want a different look. And then we create like another class and we end up repeating ourselves because maybe the font and the weighting is consistent. So you could do like all of your font in one area and then you might have different background colors. And then all you're going to do is either, I mean, to be honest, when you are building, you may just copy and, you know, paste the same button. But if you want to be really prescriptive so that when you now go back over to your custom CSS and I go here and I now change this to be five, they both shrink and 55, they both grow because I've added that class name in. So you can make some quick rapid changes across your website really, really quickly. And I feel like sometimes it's not been explained very well or to any, anyone that in that class bit, you can add multiple classes, just put a space in between them. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you learned something from that. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame. No time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings.